Uh, well, certainly there's no shortage of negativity in the room. Doom, 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 gloom, gloom, gloom. Cut it up, no new ideas, not figuring out a way to move forward. No one has ever built a subway line on one sole source of financing. Use layers of federal of, of financing, especially in a federal system. And no one ever said that you had to have uh, four billion and change in the bank before you can start. As a matter of fact, so far we've invested a billion dollars into the Shepherd subway system. And technically we have a billion dollars in escrow ready to move forward. You could take the 330 million from the federal government and ideally another six and change uh, from, the, uh, from, the, um, from the provincial government because we have proven based on last week's uh, council meeting that it, is a, that it has been moved over uh, to, this, uh, to this project. What I'm really surprised though through the debate is, is, is no one seems to be talking about incrementalism. I mean, in American and Western European cities build their subway lines station by station. Uh, they allocate uh, um, funds on a on a per kilometer basis uh, digging, and and usually that's about 300 million cities that can afford uh, one kilometer a year allocate 300 million, and, and and you go you go from there. Now in the last 25 years, we've opened up a grand total of six subway stations. Um, now if we had been if we had been building uh, subways even on an annual basis, uh, digging a kilometer a year, we probably would have doubled or tripled uh, that number, which is no great shakes, but at least it's a lot a lot better than what we're stuck with now. What what surprises me. Uh, most of all, is that we're opening up the uh, University of Spadina Extension uh, in Vaughan in 2015. So there'll be a lot of extra pressure on a north-south axis uh, going up to Vaughan and, and down the university line. There is no east-west east seamless route uh, by subway uh, north of Bloor. So in other words, you're going to be funneling down uh, an extra probably 10% of, of riders with no way to move them east and west. So someone who is trying to move across Shepherd will have to get off of the Downsview Station, take a bus across Shepherd, get off at the Shepherd Young Station, take a subway to Don Mills, and then get on some other form, form of transit. I mean, that is no way uh, to build or, or run an urban transit uh, system. I'm surprised uh, uh, by the uh, KPMG report where they go out and they say the Western extension, I'm sorry, the Eastern extension is the priority, which strikes me as particularly odd, considering that we're opening up uh, our, our new extension into Vaughan uh, in 2015. And the priority would actually be the Western extension, uh, where you've got to connect Downsview uh, and Young Street to move people on a uh, east-west uh, east access. But that having been said, uh, I, I see this, this conversation that we're having about uh, leveraging uh, private participation, uh, overlaying it uh, with, with public participation as extremely useful. And the key thing is we are talking about subways and we are talking about uh, a public, uh, a public uh, transit. But moving forward, we have to have a made in Toronto solution for our annual digging. And we have to look at how we're spending our annual surplus. We have to look at how we're disposing of city real estates, real estate assets including non-performing TTC assets, uh, which, which are currently um, sitting dormant and we should, be, we should be monetizing those assets so that we can build, uh, so that we can build transit uh, across, across the city. I, we have um, obviously forwarded a, a lot of responsibility onto the advisory group uh, that will be coming back at the end of March and providing us advice uh, on, on the future of the Shepherd, Shepherd subway system. Uh, but but I would caution that uh, it 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 already is designed as a subway system, and moving a step backwards and adding um, LRT and and buses and a real mishmash across Shepherd uh, would would not be city building. That would be going backwards. So the only way to really to really envision uh, a, a, a transit system that moves right into Scarborough and into Scarborough Town Centre is to have a seamless, a seamless uh, subway system uh, that is properly funded and not built uh, uh, with four billion in the bank, but built incrementally uh, based on the money that we have, we have available to us and the money that we can free up by monetizing assets 
and using part of our annual uh, annual surplus. So I look forward Thank to you. the ongoing conversation on that matter.